Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and it's pretty sharp, it's pretty clean. It's it's a little fuzzy, but if you always look when you grab it, there's that grayed out bounding box, meaning it's a um, bitmap. And I don't know if he just wants one or all of them, but this is really pretty easy. So with this selected, I'd go ahead and make a duplicate of it and move it over so you won't get lost. So with it selected, take the crop tool and crop out that. That way this one didn't appear, didn't disappear because you've got it, uh, you've got it selected. So we'll take a yellow box, go to object, order back a page and you can see the white bounding box around it. <clears throat> All you have to do now, it's black and white. You don't have to convert it to a bitmap. Just go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. Yours is going to be probably under bitmap, outline trace clip art and just trace it. Don't change any of the variables. And now look at it. It's a perfect shape of the farmer self. Now to make it a little easier for the video and it's pretty clean. You could, you could go through here and change some things, make it more symmetrical, you know, than it was. I mean, if you look in the, the original, they're more like circles. You could go through there and do a lot. And one thing you could do is hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm using somebody else's page and it's really little. And then I would left click, right click, and take a two point line and hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then that way, anything you do to one side, you'll do to the other. So you could, there's several things you could do here. I'm gonna take the smoothing tool, and that's way too big, do it like 0.5 inches, and just maybe just click on your item and then smooth that out a little bit. You don't want those sharp points. Now for this, since it was a circle, like effect, I would maybe take and hold down the control button and make a circle and get it relatively close to that size. So we're bringing in, holding down the shift key. And then what I would do to get it kind of in the middle of that item, I would bring in an indexing line and then bring your circle and you can see your circle is really close. So let's change our nudge factor to 0 0.001. Let's grab our X and very generally put it over there. Now just take away this inside line and this outside line and you've got a well I messed up a little bit right there but that's easily fixed take your shape tool and just move this node over actually you could probably delete that node and then you'd want to join those two to go to windows well we don't even have to do that we can do that in a second what I'm going to do now is just kind of look over the rest of it uh, see what it looks like you know there's a sharp point right there, get the smoothing tool and just click on your item and then just kind of smooth out these nodes. I've got mine set on real low. Let's bump it up a little bit where it reacts quicker. And it's pretty good. There's another circle down here, but for the video, you can just do that yourself. Uh, I would maybe take your shape tool and select all these nodes and right click and turn them into a line that way. And we could probably get rid of those two nodes. So we've, we've cleaned up one side, I'd get rid of that node. We've cleaned up all those one side. I would take my shape tool now and fill that in. <clears throat> of course, I need to now change my nudge to about five inches. Nudge that out of the way. Wow. And then get rid of this. You can get rid of everything. We don't need it anymore. Now nudge it back. It'll be exactly where it was. I would actually remove that line and then I would left click, right click, control D and make a duplicate of it and grab it till you get the handle right there. Now you might have to move it in a little bit, but it, it worked. Now I would fill it in with the smart fill tool and then that way you have a perfect shape. <clears throat> and then all you have to do, bring it back in the picture. It is uh, 
to make it math easier, we're going to make it, because I don't know what size it, we're going to make it one inch with my ratio lock. So it's, it changed it, the height and width. And then if you needed them all stacked together, since this is one inch thick, I would change my nudge factor to like 0.95 and then control D and make a duplicate and nudge it over and just, you would have that same thing. And if we'll look, our holes are a little bit off. Uh, and it all depends, you know, we got one side on more. I would have cleaned up this a little bit, but uh, all in all, you know, once you clean it up, that's all you have to do. If that's the result you're trying to get, or if you just need one, if you just need one, you're ready to go. I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.